what are we looking to solve? What's what's the problem and what are we looking to solve? And in the case of AI, let's just say you've identified your problem and here are some solutions, you know, using technology to get there. And then you bring in someone like Duran and his team where they can actually identify, you know, that end result or, or how they're going to get there. Very often if we come into a potential opportunity very early with a client, one of the things we always strongly recommend we do with them is a uh, is essentially like a discovery phase that we call solution design. And the reason we do that is because we want to help our, our clients not only kind of build the vision out further, um, but also to sort of really uh, understand what are the risks um, in the in the in the products or the um, solution you're trying to build? Um, what are the particular uh, specific requirements for it? You know, what are some of the workflows involved, and how do you understand those? And to try to take sort of like a holistic approach to what they're doing, I would always go back to this sort of principle of uh, recommending a solution design before embarking on implementation and development because you have to really know what that vision is going to be, you have to know what the risks are and how to mitigate for those risks. I think it comes down to uh, showing them what's possible first. I think the, the problem that most people lack is vision and understanding what's possible today before you even get to solutions, before you even get to their problems. I would sit down with these guys and show them five cool things that are feasible today with a technology, whether it's AI or something similar, what is today feasible? And I would show them whether it's industry specific to them or not. So I, I do think education first is still the best way to sell any type of service to a customer.